Hello, my name is Keith Duffert with NIDEC. Today, I'm going to provide a brief demonstration of the NIDEC CEM530 specular microscope. First, I'm going to provide an overview of the main body of the CEM530 specular microscope. Joystick, rotation clockwise and counterclockwise, up and down. Your micro movements, left and right, in and out. Macro movements, using both hands. Chin rest up, chin rest down, and lock position. Now I'm going to provide you an overview of the touch screen on the CEM530 specular microscope. Select here to enter the patient's ID, last name, first name, middle, date of birth, memo, and gender. Menu tab for your settings. Fixation points. With the CEM530, we're able to acquire endothelial cell images from central, paracentral, and periphery. The device itself will automatically move from number one to number two, number two to number three, so forth and so on, depending on patient's fixation movement of the internal fixation dot. Not all of these need to be selected. You can customize the area that you would like to take an endothelial cell image. So, for example, if you would like to take three, two paracentral and one central, the specular microscope will take one, it'll move to two, and it will take three and automatically capture. Auto means auto shot. Manual means manual shot by pressing the joystick button. Auto tracking on all three axes. Auto tracking on the two axes, X and Y only, not Z. And then off. Anterior view and then cell view and your results tab. To the delete the patient data, you would click on the delete tab. The count tells you how many images are taken on the right and how many images have been taken on the left. This display down here tells you the area that we're going to be capturing. If you select multiple areas, those areas will end up pink until they are completely taken. So place the patient's chin in the chin rest and forehead against the forehead rest. This is your lateral canthus marker. In a previous video, I showed you the up and down of the chin rest. So we're going to bring his chin to match the lateral canthus marker. Now that we've placed the patient's chin in the chin rest and have proper alignment, we're going to start off by capturing the right eye. I'm going to go into my fixation and I'm going to select the area that I would like to capture the endothelium. So we're going to do one central and then two paracentral. I'm going to select OK. We're going to move in the specular microscope towards the patient. Green lines, it will automatically start pulling the device in automatically. So we've taken the center. Pink here shows us the Next area of capture. And at the end, it will tell us the Im image capture at the selected fixation point has been completed. Pull the specular microscope back from the patient, select OK, and move over to the opposite eye. And move the CM530 towards the patient. It's going to automatically align. The green lines means that you're too far from the patient. The purple lines above means that you're too close to the patient. Once you see everything in yellow, that is considered the sweet spot where it will capture automatically. So everything has been captured and is complete. We're going to click OK. And now we're going to go into our results. Now that we are in the analyze results screen, as you can see here on the right eye, 
These are the three images that were taken. Central, paracentral, paracentral. You can see the green dot here. If you would like to view this in paracentral mode, as you can see here, this is our center and then our paracentral imaging. Each one of these can be viewed over here onto the left. If I go back and I select the image that I would like to look at more detail, we select details. As you can see here, it's color coded. This is the area, which is our polymegaphism area. It's color coded here in the percentage of the most cells that are determined by the size. If I go in apex and click OK, we are now in pleomorphism, which is the shape of the cell. So you can see here, hexagonal cell, six-sided is the highest. If you want to look at the tracing of the cell, just to make sure that the software did trace out the cells properly, or you can just view it as just a photo. If you're not happy with the auto-analyzed results, or if you cannot obtain an automatic analyzed results, we can go into manual analysis. In manual analysis, we utilize the center point mode. Center point means I have to select in the center of each cell. The software will not analyze a cell until it is completely surrounded. Once you have a minimum of 10 cells that are completely surrounded by the center point counted cells, we can go into the OK tab. As you can see here, I have 13 cells. They won't show up on photo. However, if I go into, let's say, Apex, you can actually see where I counted the cells. If you're wanting to go back to the reanalysis, or the automatic analysis, you can select on reanalysis here, and this will be your automatic analysis results. Over here on the analyzed table, we can see the number of cells that were counted, what the cell density is, what the average area of endothelium that was analyzed, the standard deviation of the analysis, the coefficient of variation in percentage, which is the standard deviation divided by the calculated average. This max area is the largest area of endothelia analyzed. Minimum area is the smallest area analyzed. Hexagonal cells percentage is the percentage of hexagonal cells. And then cornea thickness. Once you're complete of analyzing, we can go right into the print and we can print the results. In addition to the standalone CEM530 and software, we also offer the option of the Navis EX software image filing platform. This will store patient data and we can also utilize it to perform follow-up to look at progression over time. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this right eye here and this is going to give me the same type of analysis that's on the standalone unit. As you can see, we've taken central and then four paracentrals. Here we can also utilize the area and apex, trace and photo. If I look at the photo and if I double click on the central area, this is going to give me the same data from the standalone unit. However, this now this data is stored within our software and can be reviewed over and over. We can also perform manual analysis at the bottom right. So it's going to remove our analyzed data, but we can automatically analyze. In the software here, same center point method by clicking around and circling one cell. And as that cell becomes surrounded by other cells that we are utilizing the center point method, it will highlight it in dark gray. 
until you have a minimum of 10 cells surrounded. From here, we can confirm the results. As you can see, this is the auto analysis. This is the manual analysis. So you can have both.